what's in a name? Today is my baby naming ceremony. I've asked you guys in several videos of unboxing dolls if you would help me come up with some names. So thank you so much if you did. I tried to look through most of the comments to see names and I jotted them down. I typed them up and printed them out. So today we're going to be naming this full body silicone baby from Timu. Isn't she sweet? If you guys enjoy this video, we'll be naming this little doll Josa from Babeside because she needs a name that's easier for me to pronounce with my accent or dialect because I cannot say Josa. That's her name on the Babeside website. If this goes well, though, just look forward to a video like that. If not, I'll probably put a video like that on Patreon where more niche people can find that. So in here, I have the names. There's 29 girl names. I know that's random. That's just the number I came to. So some of these names are ones that you guys have helped me come up with. Minty is this name. I'll just show you a couple. Here's Kiara because I love the Lion King. So there are some names in here that I just really like and haven't used for a doll yet. Because as you guys know, I don't name every doll. But this should be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Some other names that I put in here were Angelica, Paige, Savannah, Rachel, because you guys came up with those. And let me know in the comments below if I end up choosing a name that you picked out. So I'm just going to shuffle them around. Okay, and for her first name, Ooh, I like this one a lot. Lilybet. And I spelled it with two L's, but it can also just be spelled with one L. So there's three key reasons why names are so important. Does she look like a Lilybet to you guys? I kind of think she does. The shape of her eyes really go with that name. I don't know how to explain that, but that's how I feel about it. <laughs> I think that is such a cute name. So the first reason why names are important is because they give us a sense of belonging. They tie us to our family and they help how we perceive ourselves or how other people perceive us as well. So they help with our self-esteem and how relationships and social interactions play out in our society. And of course, you want a name to give a really good first impression because it's typically one of the first things people learn about you. And you want that respect so that you can have a connection with someone. I thought we could also do a second name for her too so that she can have a middle name. Lilybet would sound really cute with some of the names in this. So let's close it and shake it up again. Also, names can give cultural significance. They can help you trace your lineage. Like I found ancestors on Ancestry.com and I thought that was a lot of fun. I had an ancestor named Pleasant, which I thought was sweet. And so I added the name Pleasant into this box here. Names can be symbolic or reflect aspirations, like the last name Lightfoot for Native Americans. I think that's a really pretty one, but it could mean that someone was very light on their feet, so they were good at hunting. So that is a very positive trait to pass through the name. Or legal reasons. <laughs> I know that's kind of a boring one, but Names help us identify other people like on their passport so that we can travel. So anyway, names help shape who we are and how others view us. 
Here's the second name. Are you ready? And the second name, the middle name is going to be... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's upside down. Kissa. <laughs> oh, this is the Finnish word for cat. And you guys know that I love cats and I have a cat. So Kissa, Lilibet Kissa. Can you guys see it? I think that's a pretty respectable name. What would you think if you met someone named Lilibet Kissa? I think that's pretty. I think it kind of goes together. I had already decided if I picked a name that sounded stupid together or just didn't fit that I would choose a second. But I kind of think Lilibet Kissa is very pretty. And it's easy for me to say with my accent or dialect. So I think I'll keep that. Lily Bet Kissa. But yeah, I had Savannah, Paige, Scipio, Zen, Oak, Pine, Poet, Pleasant, Love. I had a lot of names out of those 29 in here. And we'll keep this box for next time. Yeah, if this video isn't a flop, then I'll do this lovely babe sad baby's name. Oh, and I also have dolls that are vinyl and cloth body that need names as well. Because I've just gotten so many dolls this year, I haven't named everyone yet. But we'll see how it goes, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, share with your dolly friends, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Lily Bet Kissa. Lily Bet Kissa. Aw, how sweet. What a pretty name you have. Okay, you guys, I just printed off the names we're going to use. And I was like, why did it print a third page? And then I realized I put the name Odessa on there twice. So there doesn't even really need to be a third page because I could have fit Presley on one of these. It happens, I guess. But I also realized I'm missing some names I really liked. So I'll have to be writing those in and pin. If you guys like the naming of my 11 inch Timu baby, if you guys like that, then maybe I'll name this big 17 inch Timu silicone. I found my baby born's bottle. Like the tip of this bottle was missing for years and see how it's kind of melted. It got stuck to something, you guys. But now that I found this bottle top, I can do a feeding video, so I'm excited to do that. It's going to be so aesthetic to have her drink from her bottle, just like old times.